there's nothing that can stop this view. Yeah, you're playing against Zeus, so there's going to be some vision. Uh, he'll be able to live to see another day. Might have to go back, though. Bottom lane, Saxa. He's got the bugs on him. Shiguchi in for Yuragi. And finally, first blood will fall. Misha taking down Saxa. Might call over for a support to look for this next rune, because if he gets any of the... I mean, if he gets pretty much any power rune, he should have a pretty good kill possibility on top lane. There's oh. going to be a lot of damage on Snake in with the Eidolons. They've taken him out. Oh, his own creep's acting against him, actually. But 33 is getting turned on instead. I mean, at the same time, in the mid lane, stacks out to TP over to keep 9 protected. With the bugs out onto 33, he'll, he'll take them off. But Yuragi and Misha, they'll have to kill. They get 33 out of the bottom lane. Nice. Trying to start things on a but TPs are coming in. Both of the two of them very, very low now. BZM getting aggressive with the Arcane Rune. Amar taken down here from the burst of the Thunder God's Wrath. But BZM will get Skeeter in return, still holding on to the lasso. He could absolutely look for more. He'll look to run down stacks, so he doesn't even need to use the lasso for that one either. Double kill for BZM off the back of that rotation. Over in the mid nine, he's underneath the tower. Uh -oh. He'll get the kill, but he'll lose his life for it. Yuragi TP's over, and he'll be the one to clean up the enemy mid. There's just not. They haven't got a lot of catch, so if OG start to run around and run ahead, Ooh, it may be hard for, for Tundra to slow them down. So we can get out of this. Might be able to get a Mar, it looks like. But not the big kill. Aggression. Coming out from OG, and if you look at the like, supports on the side of Tundra, they kind of need their course to have a good game for those big moves. BZM? Yeah, just going back in on this one, I'm easy. It's looking pretty dead here. That's, Tried to oh. poke back there at nine, I guess around for the potential of maybe being able to grab the, the, the power room, but as it was, the power room ends up being top. Bottom, relocate comes in, Skeeter's able to get in range with the slow. That will allow them to take the kill against Misha. All right, they punch back. They do see the spot where the relocate's coming back. Snaking will be safe, though. Last time round, we'll see if they're going to be any more ready this time. BZM, he's in this time, we'll drop the last so we'll see Snaking try and they take them it. out. They're in with the remnant, they've got the first, oh. he's no, still out in time. Just kidding. They're able to get out there with the, the relocate. They will save him with the turn up and nine. They're able to take down Amar. Back over in the mid, Saxa found the opportunity to drop down the Doom onto Misha. He'll run him down underneath the tower. Tundra, this time round, they're prepared. They're ready to respond. They're the ones taking two kills. And they don't lose anyone themselves, at least not straight away. Yuragi might be able to find Saxa with the cleanup. 33's going to head over, though, and Yuragi has to be a bit careful about how he stands his ground. Had to use the time That last proc of the Maelstrom will allow him to take the kill on Saxa. 33 is going to look to try and get out of it, but Tiger's in with a black hole. Make sure that there's no chance for 33 to run away. For this sort of move, this blink from BZM might just catch Nine off guard. He's in straight away. He's got the lasso, dragged off to the side. No chance for, for any sort of save for Nine. Bottom lane sneaking. He, he gets out, but that last bit of damage on Mars there, ready and waiting, takes him down. Skeeter has to TP out. He's only, only just, just going to get away from this one, so he will live. This is one of his builds that he's done on the Batfighter a couple of times. He's going to shut himself in the mid. Snake King's ready to help out, but they want to jump in for this one. Yuragi's coming in with the side with the bug. They put the mag Saxa turns, drops the doom down onto Yuragi, but Yuragi, he's just going to look to walk this one off. They can't, they have nothing to catch him at all. Saxa will somehow survive though, Snaking, with the mech does keep him up. Now that's Doom gone for two minutes, and already for, for a team with a lack of, of lockdown. That kind of is their lockdown. That, that, that's all they have, and it's going to be gone for two minutes. So it could be difficult for Tundra to make moves now. They're going to look for BZM. He does actually get caught here close to the burst of nine. So big catch. See if they can get more. 33 trying to chase for Misha. Misha's going to opt for the TP out. They got anything to stop it? They do. Another lightning bolt comes out from nine. Quick moves from Tundra there. Up over towards the mid lane. Tundra, they smoke over from their jungle. See what sort of a catch they can get. But already in the mid, Skeeter's been jumped. They're in with the last though. Skeeter's not going to get any sort of save coming in in time. Now Saxon jumps forward. He's in on top of BZM because he doesn't have the Doom to drop. He'll turn his attention over towards Amar. Misha, Yuragi, and BZM, they're chasing down Nine. Okay. He'll get the connection with the dual breath. Standing against the snaking. He should be okay for a little longer, but Yuragi, it's right click damage, forcing Nine to have to jump back underneath the tower. He has to retreat. This Yuragi. He's gonna try for snaking, and he's close to having it. They'll get it with the flame break. But the Thunder God's Wrath, they're looking to turn again. Oh, Tundra. Damage. They're just able to roll over OG. BZM dead again in the river. They wanna get something done with Saxa. Here they can find. Just gonna close the gap on Misha. So Misha able to put the essence ring on turn. He'll get his spells off Misha. And he will still die, but that's gonna cost them Saxa in return to Tiger. She's gonna throw down the black hole to lock down Skeeter. Skeeter got the BKP off and it will now start to retreat. Yuragi trying to chase, but 33 with his army is taking them down one by one. Yuragi has to pop the time lapse. It's OG again that's really suffering in the this, the extension of these team fights. You know, it's, it, it starts off with them being able to get a quick turnaround kill onto Saxa. 
this time round. We're seeing sort of the benefits of most of OG's oh. heroes. They have that elusivity. You're oh, he's actually going to be able to pop the link as he get the Doom down, Saxa, but he's pretty deep away from him. Still, Saxa blinks in, trying his best to stay on top of of Yuragi. They've got the slow as well from Skeeter. Skeeter's with the, the BKP. He's able to dive in under the tier 2 tower. They take him down. Excellent job there from Saxa, finding that Doom opportunity through the Linkers with that Fey Grenade, as you said. That's exactly what they needed. They just He's able to get in and then get them a huge kill. And it's persistence, really, that lets them get this. They're going to likely lose 33 on the back of all of it, but knowing... Oh, they might get a kill, actually. I mean, they, yeah, oh, he, he's almost certainly going to be in trouble here. They get on top of him. BCM's going to try with the last Has got the BKB, so he can come out to 9 and 9. Bobby he's still alive. He's got the Thunder God's Wrath off. It's 3 dead on Misha, and now Misha's getting to the side. Nine's going to be able to clean up this Shakiro with a couple more rounds of lightning. There we go. It's a team <laughs> one. Tundra... <laughs> Outplaying OG in these team fights right now. To be ready, black holes ready, so they could look for a fight now on OG. They're gonna try and go for Saxa. If there's any chance of helping the Doom out there, isn't Saxa goes down, but he's able to bring them all with him. Now over to the side, Misha also just gets run down by Skeeter. He's gonna buy back. Because Tundra, they're gonna continue this chase here. Skeeter's in with the BKB, he's gonna look straight towards Tiger. That's a dead enigma. Oh, what a comeback. I mean, Skeeter is, he really has, this is a, a beautiful comeback. Uh, on top of Misha, also coming back into the game. They're on nine. They found him with the Gleipnir. PZM in on top of him, but he's going to opt for the TP out, and it's this time round. Oh, Ooh. gee, they don't have any way to catch him. And he's going to have his Ags finished up on the Zeus now, too, so he can contribute in this fight. I mean, Eskita's just going to go charging straight towards BZM. BZM has to put the BKB to try and get away. The refresh should come out. Yules into remnant control from Amar to lock back Skeeter. Gives him the chance to get in and take down Snaking. But Yuragi, he's surrounded. The Doom. Saxa is able to find the opportunity to drop the Doom down onto him. He he's dead for sure. There's no way to keep this man alive. They've got to look for the deny. They're not even able they to can't. do that. The kill still goes the way of Saxa. And Tundra, they're looking for more. With the refresh already popped, Skeeter has that second round of BKB. Charges down Misha. OG just getting crushed in every single fight now that they try and bring against Tundra. Tundra, 25 to 23, 7k up. We'll see you off to the side. Saxa being held back once more by Amar. And now Roche, they, they're not going to be able to contest this on the side of OG. Two heroes dead. There is huge possibility from Tiger. Top lane, look who it is again. Saxa. He is just so He's on point. him. Every single time, and indeed a, a well-earned tip there from his teammate Nine. I mean, Saxa, he is, he's had Yuragi's number every single time. OG. And then, and Mar. Mar, he's just, <laughs> just he's completely <laughs> destroyed there. One stun and he's gone. Yeah, it does not feel like an easy fight whatsoever. And how long until the age? Okay, Aegis has gone in five seconds. OG's trying to time it with this. But there's the jump. Saxa just gets in straight away onto Amar. Amar. Take it out immediately. Tiger's gonna go with the jump, but he's got the black hole just on the one hero. Skeeter is able to live through this. Saxon will drop the Doom down onto Tiger to put a stop to the black hole. OG just getting torn apart one by one once again, and they're gonna call it. They know that they can't turn this one around. GG is called Tundra. We'll take this game one. Well, definitely gonna be a fun game to watch. Yeah. Like, Nine always finds a way to play different heroes, something. And top. As we met, we didn't really touch on too much, but Top is gonna. I think Top is the one that's a little bit more boring. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough he, one for OG. He's in trouble there. He might just die. Yep. There, we, ladies and gentlemen, nine. Clockwork on mid. His mid clock. First blood against BZM. Even BZM offering him up yeah. a tip for that one because yeah, nine. Okay, Radiant just on the edge of the vision. Bottom, he should. Radiant Some pressure. Has been I will be able to snipe the courier. So that's the boots gone for Yuragi. Up oh, that rock the rocket coming in globally. That little extra damage. And get the wolves in. And the Wolves, one more hit, should be able to do it. They're able to hold back one of them with a the battle strike, but Misha, he's, he's been surrounded, and the Wolf will take him down. Saxa, he's going to opt for the TP out, and he, he is away, away in time. Saxa, able to live. He's just able to get back in, get the kill. It's your argue has got to be careful, because there is a hook shot available. The tree cut. And they saw him. You know, the Wolf in position there in the trees, 33, and the Micro spotting out your argue jumping across the tree line. He's going to try for the TP out, but they're able to clean out an angle for nine to get him with the hook shot, put a stop to the escape. That's going to be your argue going down. I mean, 33 is just always a spectacle to watch. And now mid. Relo. And here we go with the Orchid. They didn't even need it. Skeeter comes in for the last hit. See if we can get anything more here. Tether to the side. Snaking's actually going to get out alive. Oh, boy. I don't know if they're going to have the time for all the all this greed that's coming out. 33 already pressuring tier twos. I mean, these two with an Orchid and, and with an Arcane Rune, they should have the round of spells it's to take down Amar. He can't get out of this. 
Uh, he's definitely dead, so we'll see how careful he plays it. Hiding in the trees for now. Shows himself for one second. As soon as he shows nine, a media orchid. They're in on top of him. They keep him locked down. He's gone. Such good. I mean, it, it really is such good game understanding right now from Tundra. They know this tower is low. They want to go for it. They know that somebody's going to try to defend it, and it's the best hero that they can. They're trying to get something in the mid lane. Aramar and Tiger, and with a BKB pop from Skida, he's just ready to run down Amar. As Amar's gone, Tiger, Tiger too. Also very likely to be dead here. It's a 10k lead. 15 minutes in. 11 to two. Tier three. 16 minutes. It's gone. Any chance of a defense from OG, we'll see. They're gonna try, they laid down the macro. Snaking, he's got the mech. Try for a bit of a jump onto nine. They played careful. The range racks, they'll look for the melee. OG will be able to clear out the, the push here. They'll go with the arena, but there's not really any follow up from Amar. The Rax is dead. It's gone. He denies it, there you go. Easy denies a little bit of money toward their way. 16 minutes in, Barracks gone. 12k lead, this one is out of hand. And, and also- top, They found your argument, nine. What a menace. He was so close to the Battle Fury as well. Sets him back another couple of hundred gold there, that death. This one's feeling pretty. They're trapped in their base. It's 17 minutes, Owen. And they call it. it. I, I told you, it felt like that. It felt like we were going to have an early one. We wow. have one just sort of out of the blue, but uh, completely understandable. This game was over. It Tundra really was. 17 minutes in. This was... On a, this, this was the biggest stomp we've had in DPC right this tour. Uh, uh, I think so, yeah. We may have had another go, but this one, honestly, Tundra. And, and for Tundra to do it against OG, right? People, I think, were expecting to see these two teams sort of at the top. Uh, Tundra turning up today and showing that it, it was, it's not close. Yeah, stop. Wasting my time. Trying to get mine. Get out the way. Move. Trying to get paid.